Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on JNTU Labs. So I am Manohar, I am teaching you about embedded systems. So today we will see DHT11 sensor. This is nothing but D digital humidity and temperature sensor. DHT is nothing but. So it gives me a value of humidity value and temperature present in the surroundings. So we have a small sensor which measures it and gives to our uh, senior monitor or anywhere in your display. So till now we have not seen any displays. So hope we will be seeing it in our next videos, upcoming videos. So but anyhow, today let us see about DHT sensor. We will be printing this in serial monitor. If you have seen my previous videos, then I have discussed about the serial monitor and the baud rate and bit rate. So those things we will be seeing. So this is the th today's basic theory. So let us start. It measures humidity and temperature. The range of humidity is from 5 to 10 percent which is accuracy. Measurement range is from 20 to 90 percent humidity range. That is nothing but 50 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Okay. Temperature accuracy is about plus or minus 2 de degree centigrade. So it is nothing but if it is 30 degree centigrade then it may be or 32 or 28. So re resolution is 1 and the package is 4 pin single throw. It is nothing but we have 4 pins output of it. One is VCC, one is ground and one is your data pin and next is your no connection. So basically it takes serial communication. So it has a single data bus used for the communication and the total communication time requires is 40 milliseconds to transmit all the data, the data of humidity and temperature. It takes 40 milliseconds. Remember friends 40 milliseconds in our next slides we will be discussing about this time period and the data transmission is 40 bits and the higher data is sent first. So how the data is transmitted and what what are these 40 bits and how these 40 bits are placed we will be seeing right in our next slide. So let us go for next slide. So data format is about 8 bit first 8 bit integer value of humidity then we get an 8 bit decimal value. So total 8 plus 8 for humidity and 8 bit for temperature integer value and decimal value is of 8 bit of same temperature and 8 bits will be your check some bits nothing but your parity bits so that is a, that is provided so white 8 2 8 3 8 4 8 and 5 8 8 5 is a 40 bits so it is satisfied okay data format is in, in this manner so basically if you see if you want to get the data from this ic you have vcc data and ground three pins are given and one pin is i have told you that no connection it is so it is not connected i will be link will i will be providing the link in the description above this you can buy from there and basically this is your signal diagram whenever you connect your data pin to your microcontroller na, you need to send a if you are if you if the pin is in high uh, basically let me select it okay if your pin is your high then you should keep it low for some time and then you should keep it up for some time what is the time period i'll be mentioning but understand you have to keep it high for some time and then dht will send out the response signal in this format okay this is it bit 0 and this is bit 1 in this format it will be sending it will be sending 40 bits as we have seen here that it transmits 40 bits and the time period is taken is 40 milliseconds so we will see uh, how these bits are transmitted so how many seconds we have to keep it low and how many seconds we have to keep it high and the data how it gives and how to calculate that it is 0 and it is 1 so let us see, see this again after getting data you have to keep your microcontroller again you have to make it is high okay it gives us low then you have to make it it high the pin should be become high so this is how the timing diagram it will be so basically you have this timing diagrams whenever you give the give the signal to the uh, to the dht 11 so it should be 18 milliseconds slow as able you can it you, you can able to see that 18 milliseconds it should be low then it should be wait for response for 20 to 40 microseconds okay 20 to 40 microseconds that is milli and this is micro so high should be for, uh, 20 to 40 microseconds then dht will start sending your response okay so it starts sending your response you see first dht response out will keeps it for 80 microseconds it will be low and then it for 80 microseconds it will be high and then data transmission start place okay here the data transmission start place so you can able to see here to transmit one bit data it takes 50 microseconds 
okay and if from here you can able to see from here if we get a low pulse for 50 microseconds and a high pulse uh, for 26 to 28 microseconds then the data is nothing but equals to zero remember friends 50 microseconds low and 26 to 28 microseconds high then it is nothing but your data is zero okay if 50 microseconds low and 70 microseconds on means my data is equals to 1 okay you have to wait for that time and the total bits to transmit for all that 40 bits it requires 40 milliseconds okay that is your timing diagram of dht signal sensor output and basically the connection we will be seeing in our next video as usual you know that basically we will be seeing our connections in the next video and then we will be doing programming in our third video okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day if you have any comments of this dst sensor regarding this then please comment me you can what you can able to do you can download a data sheet dht 11 sensor and micro peak data sheet it is a very good data sheet i have gone through it just go through it and you can have a look of it thank you till then